Hello everyone, welcome to the class. This is David A. Cox with Tech Talk America, and today I'm gonna to show you how you can really easily increase the font size on your Mac. Now we're gonna go over this through a few different methods. I'm gonna show you how to do it through system preferences, which is by far the most effective way to get it across the entire system. Then for those of you who need a little bit more help beyond that, uh, I'm gonna also show you how to make a few additional adjustments in the Apple Mail program, followed by Safari. Let's get started. So uh, you're gonna be going up here to the Apple menu on your Mac, and please know I'm on a Mac that's running uh, Mac OS High Sierra, so if anything here looks a little bit different, that's the reason why. And we're gonna go here into System Preferences. Now from here, we're gonna go into Display Options. Uh, obviously this is a laptop. If you're on a desktop, it's gonna look slightly different. Uh, and here on the Display tab, we're gonna go into Scaled. For a lot of you, it's gonna probably be default for Display, but for this, we're gonna go into Scaled. Now this, you can see right here uh, in the little preview window, it's showing us approximately how large text is going to be in comparison to the rest of the computer. Now, if we wanna make it a little bit larger, we can go with this option here. Now, when you go to do this, it's gonna do this little thing where it's gonna kind of flash the screen on your computer. And because of how I record these classes, I'm gonna actually have to hit the pause button and then resume and you'll see that my screen looks a lot different. So just by that alone, you can probably see that even just the, the text up here at the top of my screen is a lot bigger. So that this is a very, very effective way to immediately do it uh, pretty much across the board. Then if you wanna go a little bit deeper, let's go into the mail program. All right, folks, so now we're here in the Apple Mail application, and I wanna show you how to both manually and automatically have the font size increase. Uh, part of the reason why I wanna show you manually first is because there are a whole bunch of different types of email that can actually be sent to you. Some messages are just plain text, others use fixed width, some are actually images that have text on them, like newsletters. So uh, I wanna show you how to manually make any adjustments if you need to. And the way you do that is just with a very, very simple hotkey combination on your keyboard. So to do this, what you're gonna do is you're gonna hold the command key, which for most of you is gonna to be to the left or right of the space bar, and then you're gonna just tap the plus symbol, and that's going to zoom in. And every time you tap it, it's gonna keep zooming in. If you hit the minus symbol, uh, with command, again, you can see it does the exact opposite. That also works in other applications as well. If you want to adjust this really across the board, again, it's not gonna work perfectly, but the way you can do it is by going into the mail preferences. So let's go to mail at the top left and go into preferences. From here, we're gonna go into the uh, fonts and colors tab and the message font is really what you're gonna be focusing on. That is what this responds to. Uh, one thing I've noticed, at least uh, currently, I don't know if it's the, the fact that I'm recording my screen or if it's the current operating system, for me there seems to be a slight delay sometimes when I do this, so let's, let's see how it looks. Okay, sometimes I gotta just switch it back and forth. See how it's kinda like, it, it kinda jumps around. Anyways, you can see here though, it is a lot larger at this point. Moving on to Safari, I wanna show you how to increase or decrease uh, the, the font size here. So using Command plus or Command minus will work. One thing you will notice is that the website structure may slightly change based on how far zoomed in you are. Like you can see here that certain side menus can sometimes collapse access to them. You don't have the room for it. So one of the things that's really nice with Safari these days is that if you tell it how far you want it to zoom in, again, using either command plus or command minus, it will actually remember it. So that way, the next time you come back to that website, it should be the same size. Thanks for watching, everyone. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, we of course do appreciate it. If you click the little like button, leave us a comment below, share us with your friends on Facebook, and uh, please tell your friends about us. We have uh, now at this point almost 500 tutorial videos um, on pretty much everything you can imagine and much, much more in the works. This is David A. Cox with Tech Talk America, class dismissed.